What up, everybody? This is Demetra K, and I'm here with Donovan throwing rocks and hiding his hands. Sadiq, this is our first edition of To the Hard Way. To the Hard Way, whatever that is, okay? And so, as always on this show and on the other show, our um, objective here is to talk about things that are prevalent in the black community and with the hopes of making us better. So we can do better and all that other stuff. So now that I got that out the way, <laughs> men, I am giving you the game, okay? The game, I hope that I will add something new to it. So I want you to pay attention and take notes, okay? And I also like to say, look, I'm just trying to give you advice. I'm not even trying to change your mind. What you do with the advice is on you. So without further ado, they say the game is told, not sold. So I'm going to give it to you. All right. Now, <laughs> I, I, I want to tell you guys about what some of these girls, not women, but what some of these girls are doing. Now, there's nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. Women or girls, I should say, have been doing this type of thing, you know, these type of things, the men since forever. But I'm noticing that these girls are doing it a lot younger and they're good. These girls are getting good. They learn from the best. I, I got it from my mama. You know, like Whitney Houston song. I learned from the best. I learned from the best. I think it's more or less like the, the Black Eyed Peas. Uh, she got it from my mama or whatever the case is. Now, and I, before I get started, too, I want to say, look, ladies, don't jump on my head because I always give advice to the women. But I'm giving advice to the men because I had two men yesterday call me asking for advice, and the stories are kind of the same, but I'm just like, what's going on? Now, these aren't even men that are in their 20s. These are men that are in their 40s or mm -hmm. 35, almost damn near 50. Well, see, when, when a guy is that age and he doesn't know the game, that was a good dude. Obviously, he was a good dude because he didn't know the Are you a good drama. dude? Yeah, I'm Do you know the game? game? I know the game very So there well. you go. But it's wait, wait. That's because I was raised by a with her mother. You know the game, though. No. And yeah. you're probably partially a good dude because you know the game and you didn't get suckered in by right, the game. Right. All right. So let me tell you all the first story. Yesterday, early morning, because I got people all calling me for advice all the time. <clears throat> so this man who was 35, and I'm going to not use their names to protect the innocent or the gullible, I should say. <laughs> so he calls me and he says, you know, okay, I met this girl. Um, at Burlington Coat Factory, she worked at Burlington Coat Factory, and she was rearranging the perfume, and she was cute. I liked her. So I went up to her and said, you like those? And she says, yeah, you going to buy it for me? And he did. He bought it for her. I assume he bought it for her before he knew her name. Right, but, you know, but, but most guys do that to, you know, pique your interest right, and get your attention. Right, right. Okay, and I don't even have a problem with you okay. buying the girl the perfume or whatever it was you bought her. So mm -hmm. from that point, they exchanged information numbers or whatever. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, oh, the pencil, sorry. Um, so they exchange information and all this other stuff. And so they I'm gonna take notes. Oh, you, <laughs> I'm take notes, guys. I'm so they notes. took you know, so they went on a couple dates or well, a lot of dates it sound like, and then you know, you know, I mean, come on, you, 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 he went to IHOP, he took her to Waffle House. I <laughs> guess. But you know, as they say, most men know. And a lot of women know there ain't no romance without the finance. Oh. So I think this brother you understood have a that. If you wanna be rich. Say it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we did a video right. on that a while back. So most people know that. That's a given. That's nothing, there's nothing yeah, wrong with time. that. Mm -hmm. So um shortly after they get to going out and stuff, of course, she has all these needs. She asking. Needs, she yeah, she needs the bills paid. Right. Um she needs money to get her hair done and her nails done, okay? Mm -hmm. And he said, I didn't have a problem with that. Sure. But he says, months and months go on. And now I also tell you guys, and I got to lean in on this one. So y'all come <laughs> here, make sure you hear me right. She has a baby daddy. Okay, she got two kids. She got a baby daddy that she lives with. And they live with his parents. Okay? Wow, what a man providing for his... But he's disabled, though. That's what she was telling him. Don't worry, honey. He's disabled. He's not a threat to you. Look, we ain't doing nothing. I know a lot of disabled people that live on their own. And can get it up. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. <laughs> so, so he's falling for all of this stuff. He's disabled, so she lives with the baby daddy and his parents. That's why he can't come over. But wait, hold on. Oh, it gets me. There's more. Damn. She got two jobs and she do hair on the side. 
but she continuously needs him to give her money. And so he said the um, conversation of sex eventually came up. And so they agreed, you know, hey, it was going to go down. And so he said one night, he was like, okay, come over. Let's, you know. Do I got my place. Come on yeah, over Yeah, come on over. Do we got to do it? So, of course, she said, you know, I'm on my monthly or whatever the case is. And so he was like, yeah, you lying, blah, blah, blah. You just don't want to do it. And so Some she proved to him so that it was true. And so he says, okay, fine. She proved that it was true. Wow. Whatever yeah, the proof throw some was. Ketchup, then whatever, <laughs> we're gonna do. whatever the proof was, so she proved it. So he says, and this is not my words, y'all, because I don't really like to be this graphic, but he says, I told her, okay, I'm not gonna wait five days, I'm gonna wait seven days because this is gonna be our first time. I wanna lick you up and down and all this other stuff. I want you to be good and clean, is what he said. Mm -hmm. And so that time came, she had a yeast infection. Can't do it now because I got a hey, yeast infection. You can't eat no bread without no yeast. I'm, I'm just saying. He got some nasty-ass niggas some, out there. Some butter on the Yeah, tail. he got some nasty-ass niggas out there, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think we feel? Yeah, so, so, okay, so that was an excuse, and then, you know, they hardly can't, they can't hardly spend time together unless it's something she needs because she's so busy and all yeah, this other funny, stuff. Isn't it funny how she's available when she needs when something? The, when the money is getting dished out, yeah. yeah so she's he, available. You know, he said he whatever she needed. He says, I'd never giving money like this to a, a woman ever and you know the kids whatever they need the hair all this stuff so he, he was doing her it hand. Did he no kiss? no he said they have never hugged they've never kissed and they, they, none of that stuff and so i told him i said listen while i'm listening to all this i said please never equate money for sex just because you're giving money to a woman or doing all these things that does not mean sex mean comes thing. with it so okay so but in all fairness, they did have the conversation that we were going to move our relationship forward. And so when the time would come each time, you know, it was always an excuse. And so at this moment, he's broken up with her. And so she calls him back and says, well, I don't even know how they can be broken wait, wait, up. Wait, wait, because... She called him back? Yeah, because okay. he cut her loose. Yeah, how could you be broken up if you were never together? Right. And so she calls him back and says, well, you know, I'm sorry. And, you know, well, maybe we could just start off by spending one day together. And so that's what his dilemma was. That's why he was calling me. <clears throat> he wanted to know if he should do it. He says, because I really like her and all this other stuff. I said, listen, what you do ultimately is your business. Mm -hmm. Whatever you feel led to do, you should do that. However, just know that. You're not going to go spend one day a week with her and be able to take it all the way back and say, okay, we're going to start over. Mm -hmm. I said, you started out the relationship being her benefactor. And so for her, she knows that she's lost that. And so I will agree to one day a week to spend with him because I'm not getting cut off from all these benefits. And I said, sounds like you were really good to her. So she ain't trying to lose that. And I said, so now... If you go back, I said, the ball is no longer in your court. I said, if she really wanted to be with you, then you make her prove that to you. Cut her off financially. I said, because she got a baby daddy living with her parents. She got two jobs and she braided hair about the house. So she should she, she should be loaning you some money. So I said, but what you do, <laughs> what you do with it is your business, brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so he says, well, you know, part of me just wants to go do it, you know, excuse my French, but I just want to go fuck her a couple of times and then just dump her. I said, why would you go down to her level? I said, if you really want to be with her, make her come up to your level. Don't go down to her level. I said, because you're going to play the game and get a prize of something you don't want. And, you know, the hard thing is when you're trying to bring, you know, a girl up from that level, they don't want to come up. Right. Well, and then and all, and another thing is, too, I don't like to keep saying that because a person is a certain age is why they do things. But this girl is 25. He's 36. So she's 25, he's 36. She's, I mean, already doing, the, that's a professional type of stuff. Let me just rook this dude for all his money. Yeah. I promise you guys, I'm going to give y'all the game after I tell y'all this story. So this brings us to this story. And I titled this story, Is Your Baby Mama Using Your Money, Your Child Support Money, to Buy Dick? Is your baby mama using your child support money to buy dick? Again, I don't like to be so graphic, but damn it, it is what it, it is. is. What it is. All right, y'all. Get ready for your notes and stuff. So this particular scenario, the guy says his baby mama calls and says, oh, my God, I got to be. I'm sure she didn't sound like that, but this is just me making it interesting. I got a bill that needs to be paid and I need 60. Can you give me $60 to pay the bill? 
And so he's like, yeah, you know, I pay child support, but if she got a bill she need to pay, mm -hmm. I'm going to pay the bill because my child lives there. Right. Fine. Like most good dudes and right. fathers will do. However, give me the bill, get him on the phone, and we can call, I can pay it with my card, you know, and all mm -hmm. this stuff. Oh, well, I would rather have the money. And he was like, you know, I would rather just pay the bill. Yeah, right. So, and then he says, well, what bill is it? Well, I don't know the bill. I got to go get the information at home and all this other stuff. And I was like, um... If you had a bill that needed to be paid that day, because it's obviously it's getting cut off or whatever, wouldn't you know what it is? And so I said, stop right there. I said, she run a game on you. Mm -hmm. She run a game. I said, she just wants the money. And then he says, she taking her man for his birthday. Now, the baby mama is taking her boyfriend for a, a four-day weekend in another city. And they're flying and everything, getting hotels, renting cars, all this stuff. They're doing it big. But yeah, she ain't got $60 for this bill. And so I said, okay. She going off on the weekend with a boyfriend. But yeah, she ain't got money, so she needs you to pay the bill. I said, first of all, I said, there's a whole lot of issues here. I said, why, are you, why is she screwing a dude that can't help her with her needs? I said, so what she's trying to do is buy what she wants. And then back for what she needs from you. So she going to spend the money, her money, your child support money, whatever else money to go take this dude to kick her heels up. But yeah, she wants you to take care of her house. So I said, that's a piss poor ass woman. That's just my opinion. It's a piss poor ass woman that will leave her home neglected to go screw another dude for four days. But yeah, she get the money from the baby daddy. I was like, Lord, have mercy. Where are these? Where, where are these? Like, am I being punked? Because I had two dudes call me to me like... I'm not saying I'm the, the sharpest tool in the shed, but some things to me should just be a given. You know what I mean? Because well, I would... Well, you have to be the sharpest tool in the head because uh, you have one child. You didn't bring any additional children in. No, I didn't. And uh, she's in college and she's doing her thing and she ain't got no baby, so you've done it right. But so. let me ask you this. Because I just need to get the checks and balances here. Could your baby mama call you? Now, our kids are grown, yeah. but I'm just saying baby mom just for the sake of mm -hmm. keeping it simple. Could she call you and say, Donovan, and all this other information, you know, she's taking a boyfriend out for a weekend for the birthday and all this other stuff. Could she call you and say, can you give me $60 and I need to pay a bill? And you say, well, give me the bill. I pay it. And she says, well, I'd rather have the money. Would you give it to her? Nope. I mean, with some red flags and some well, something go off in your head, like, okay, you know, something's for, wrong here. For me, speaking for Donovan Sadiq specifically, if I know you got a boyfriend since I know the game, you're fucking somebody else. Get your money over. He getting the benefits, right. not you. Exactly. So, and it has nothing to do with her. Like she's a prostitute and like that. You got him a so-called man. Most men. And don't. you had a man right. here, and you didn't want that. So, but why? Why you laying down with a dude that couldn't help you pay right. your bill? Let's say it's a light bill. But so he's you don't eating. Come screw you. But he's eating off the child support that I provide. Exactly for my child. But my thing is this though. Okay, and I'm going to get to the end of the story because mm -hmm. I promise you it's a doozy. Well, right now, all these women are just coming in. Girl, how dare you tell a story? Ah, you, you shouldn't be telling a secret. Back right uh, yeah, it is what it is. You know what I mean? And so, I, my thing is, I would be more upset that you would even think I would fall for the okie doke that you mm -hmm. could call me. Right. Tell me all this stuff. I'm taking my boyfriend now. We're going to have a good time for four days. And, but, you know, but, and then, but, but I need you to take care of the bills while but, I'm gone. But doesn't that go back to in a court case when they say, uh, oh, well, I need more child support. He made up, you know, but we got to produce receipts. But when we say, wait a minute, we need to, you, you need to produce some receipts. Isn't that kind of the same thing? No, because you should just trust me. And I Listen, I'm going to do the right thing and all this other stuff. But and so I see your hair is done. Your nails are done. Your feet are done. You got this nice oh, little Oh, don't worry Gucci about that. Suit, you got lipstick on. Yeah. Nice makeup. But and yet, I'm taking my boyfriend. Right. Who, you know, I can't. And then this is what the dude said that I was talking to about the situation. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe she got pride. She got pride, so she don't really feel like asking him for the money. I said, hold up, partner. Hold up. I said, hi. Excuse my French. It is what it is. How she giving him pussy over her pride? So you mean to tell me her pride mean more to her than her pussy? I said, how does this make any sense? Right. Right. What's wrong with these women? And I said, what's wrong with you for justifying that? I okay, mean, to me. Brindle. I'm just saying, <laughs> what's, why are you justifying this? Listen, dude, and, and, and speaking of my mama, God rest her soul, oh, she rest said the old folks used to say, when you see a fool, you bump his head, okay? Mm. Snoop Dogg said it best when all this black rob in China, mm. whatever the hell their names are, was going down. When you see a sucker, you supposed to lick them. Right. So right. I need to ask you dudes before I give y'all the game, are you a sucker? 
Are you a fool? I mean, are you a sugar daddy? What's really going on with you? But isn't there an old saying, I don't know if your mom say this or our mom's generation say this, a uh, empty purse and a... And a wet pussy don't match. <laughs> they don't match, right? I've heard that, okay? <laughs> but yeah, you got all these women out there. Oh, and I can't ask him for no money, but shit, I'm going to let him pat his shit up all mm -hmm. that we get long. Oh, uh, b before you give mm -hmm. us the game, real, 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 real quick. Wait, wait, let me give you the end of the story. Okay, give the end of the story. And so, okay, now this is the doozy, y'all. So... The uh, the girl calls, the baby mama calls him back that night, says, I really need this money. And so he was like, okay, I'm going to pay the bill if it's a bill, but yeah. I'm not giving you the money. So she goes to the store and leaves her phone at the house. He gets a phone call five minutes later from his daughter, who is 11, and said, daddy, mama don't need the money. She's just trying to get $60 from you because she going off. Uh, she need to go buy her a pantsuit so she can go to the All-Star Weekend in L.A. The baby called and said, Daddy, I'm putting you up on game. This heifer here is bumping your head, and apparently you look like a sucker to her because she's trying to lick you. So I'm telling you, Daddy, don't mm -hmm. give my mama this money. Right. So the cold part is, to me the most disturbing part is, sh the baby who was 11 is in earshot of all What's of this conversation. On? She overheard mm -hmm. her telling her girlfriend on the phone the rundown of why she's trying to bump this dude head. I almost called him something else. I'm going to be real. Called the bump this dude head so she can get a pass. So now she got a, a boyfriend she's screwing. She got a job. Got a job. And a baby daddy who paid child, child support. support. But yeah, she's trying to lick this dude for some more money so she can go pull another dude, probably. Because most women, not Going all. For a baller. Most women who go to All Star Weekend, you leaving one state to another to go to All Star Weekend. Nah, trying to go fuck have a, over there. Mm -hmm. You trying to get a baller. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But ask your question because I'm, I'm going to give it again. So y'all get y'all uh, pencils and papers. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> I see where you're going with this story, and I want to just take a quick look. You sent me a video in oh, regards yes. to yes. a situation. Let me drink my coffee. And I want you guys to take a look at this and tell me if you agree with it or if you don't agree with it. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, number mm -hmm. one, I don't agree with it, and I told you, most women, they don't want the good dude. They don't want the guy going to college. They don't want the guy, because he's an L7. Not most women, stupid women. Stupid women. Uh, he's an L7. Stupid so that, girls. For those that don't know what L7, that's a square. Um, but that's the guy that's going to get Becky down the road because he's got insight. They want the guy that's going to live for the day. So I want you guys to take a look at this video and just think about what what's happening in the video, and we'll give you our commentary. Hello, world. <laughs> it's me again. The pettiest baby mama alive. But anyway... <laughs> Do y'all see my baby daddy? Yes, yeah. do y'all see him? Him is working hard, hunty. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sweet. I told him, like, you know, I just broke up with my boyfriend last yeah. night. And all this snow need to be shoveled yeah. in. He just came running. He gonna always run to his baby mama. Y'all need to realize that. Like, y'all feel to realize no matter what y'all say about me. Oops. He's gonna always be here, okay? The mother of his kids. Like, stop playing. But yes, he came running. But truth is, y'all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret, right? Well, I never broke up with my boyfriend. <laughs> I know this nigga is here in the bed and he's in on it but I just feel like my nigga is so much of a king right I'm gonna zoom out he's so much of a king he shouldn't have to get up and work hard and get out in the snow and it's cold outside like no nah, babe sit back relax I'm gonna cook you and the kids a nice meal and we're gonna have baby daddy come do all the work <laughs> Yes, and baby daddy is here doing all the work. Ain't he so sweet and nice? Hold up, we're gonna say hi. Let's, um, um, say hi to him. Hey, baby daddy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you is doing so good. You know, I got you, I gotta make sure. Ain't no snow, so y'all won't flip the floor. Oh, you just love us. Yeah. Can I take a picture of you? Huh? 
Can I take a picture? Since you're working hard, I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna post it, okay? Huh? Some salt? Some salt? Yeah, y'all need some salt. Can you go get, can you go get some for us? Yeah. Okay, thank you, baby daddy. You're so motherfucking stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna go get it. Like, oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all are mad? Like, y'all be mad. Because that's how I got my baby daddy. Y'all need to get like me. The fuck? <laughs> All right. So, in conclusion. Honestly? I, the guy who was saying the the, the mom, baby mama need the $60, I asked him because I know he saw that video. And I said, Do you, are you the guy on the shovel in the sidewalk? <laughs> are you that guy? Mm -hmm. Because that's what you are in the scenario. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to give y'all the game. All right. Fellas, number one, stop leading with your wallet. Stop approaching these women, which will turn out to be girls in the long run. Stop approaching them with your wallet. Stop saying, oh, well, you know, my name is Derek. And by the way, I have this and I have that and I can do this for you and I can do that for you. Have a conversation with her first. Any relationship is an investment financially, physically, mentally, emotionally. Make sure that person is worthy of you investing those things into them. Otherwise, you're going to end up in the situation of the guy. Mm -hmm. he, she was so cute. I'm mad that she had a big old booty and all these attributes that drew him and, in. And, and that's a natural uh, right. male. But take thing. the conversation further. Right. So now you on the hook. You're buying all the stuff. You're paying mm -hmm. bills. And the baby daddy living at the household with the, kid, the parent. Oh, my God. So stop leading with your wallet. Let the girl or the woman get to know you. Before she knows your financial situation. Because listen. There's a lot of women out there like. Well shit I don't like him. But I'll take his money. Mm -hmm. Point two. Leading to from piggybacking off of what I just said. There's a lot of girls out there. Who will say. Well a girl's got to eat. So what that means is. I ain't going to screw him. I'm going to drag him around. I'm not going to give him the time of day. But shit, since he want to take me out to eat, I ain't turning down no free meal now. I go out to eat. Yeah, we going to Red Lobster. Mm -hmm. We going to Papa Do's. We doing all that stuff. We going to Ruth Chris. We doing all that. Listen, but I ain't never going to give him what he's ultimately looking for, whether it's some poo mm -hmm. nanny. It's a relationship, companionship. I'm never going to do that because I got to eat. Right. I ain't going to turn down no free meal, okay? okay? Number three, sex ain't nothing to some of these girls. Some of these girls no will give the you nanny. the pussy. Excuse my language, but it is what it is. It is to the hard way. They will give you the pussy because that's detachable. That ain't nothing shit I fuck them. I fuck them if he going to pay this light bill, if he going to give me some money that. to buy me a suit mm -hmm. for All-Star Weekend, I'll do that. Meal. Right, ain't shit, that ain't nothing. I give it to him. But he ain't never gonna get the rest of me. I just shit. That's just a pussy. I give to him shit. I got my nails done. You see? Where are those girls at? I'm oh, trust me. I'm sure you put the call out. You have them lined up. <laughs> Number four. Don't get Bonnie and Clyde. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I came up with that term, but I'm saying I did. Don't get Bonnie and Clyde. What does that mean? It's a man's world. Thank you, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ice Cube and Neo, yeah. That video that we just saw was a perfect illustration of Bonnie and Clyde. Here this woman is saying, as she's showing everybody how she's doing her baby daddy wrong, but she's also telling us that her king, her man is laid up in the bed because it's too cold for him. He a king. It's too cold for him to be out there doing it. So I'm bumping my baby daddy, who apparently is a good dude. I'm and bumping probably his came head. On his own, knowing right. that it snowed and want to make sure that he his baby exactly. can school and all of that. Mm -hmm. So adult, so Bonnie and Clyde means that woman very well may have a dude. Who's in on it? Don't fuck him, though. Go on and get that money. Don't fuck him. Make him think you're going to fuck him because, shit, I need some new tires. If he going to give you some money to get me some shoes and all of that, yeah, go on out there and then string him along. So don't get Bonnie and Clyde, all right? Mm -hmm. The fifth point is don't get sold a pipe dream. There's a lot of women out there, girls, I should say, will say, oh, you know, well, yeah, let's just give me some time. You know, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Yeah, but just, you know what? Mm, I need my bills paid. But you know what? As soon as I get myself together, shoot, it's going to be me and you. We're going to, you know, in the, in the, in the, that could be 20 years. Right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm, I'm selling you a pipe dream. I'm giving you hope because you really like me. 
You like this fat ass of God. You like all the stuff I'm talking about. So you selling, I'm selling you these dreams and you got the hope of one day, yeah, she going to be my girl. So wait, so you're telling me I should give up on your sister? What you listen, what I said <laughs> earlier on in the show, look, I'm just trying to give you advice. Yeah, I ain't trying okay. to change your mind. Okay, gotcha. You do gotcha. what is your business. I gotcha. I have okay. no problem being the side dude. Right. If that's what you want to be. Right. That's right. You know, because... I've been putting deposits down on your sister now. Well, yeah, I hope it pays <laughs> off, all right? But all I'm saying to you guys is this, like, have a long enough conversation. Now, how do sure. you get... How do you how do you avoid being um, a lollipop that gets licked, a fool that gets his bump, head bumped, or a sugar daddy? Because ultimately, that's what you become. Mm -hmm. um, at least sugar daddies who sign up for the sugar daddy them... If that's even a word, yeah. they know they're they doing know that. They're doing it, right. They are a, a, a willing participant. Right, but at the same time, they have expectation. Right, and most women who are sugar babies is what they call mm -hmm. them. They're in that situation. They know it's pay for play. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to do something because now that Viagra is coming to the play, they're wearing that. Pussy ain't no more. Out. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more of that arm candy stuff. Right. Oh, she's just cute, you know. Yeah, it's only you know back in the day. Oh, it's 15 minutes of my time. Blah, blah, blah. No, it's gonna, as long as this Viagra is working, right. you're going to be working. You're looking at these two hours, <laughs> this shit like this. Right. Exactly. So how do you avoid that? Mm -hmm. Number one, know who you are. If you know who you are, you have expectations. You have certain standards. And so when you know who you are, you know who you're looking for. After the first couple of minutes, you should know, really. I, I mean, I think you should know, especially at our age. Whether this is somebody you want to spend some time with, because I know who I am, and I know the things I hear, the things that are coming out of your mouth, and that's just not really something I'm well, comfortable with. Let's talk about this. Uh, you know, everybody says, "Oh, you, you do, you, you're doing a lot of hypotheticals, and that'll never happen to me." Whatever the deal is. All right, I talked um, to two dudes who went there. Right. Um, I was in a, a pretty much same scenario, was mm -hmm. I not? No, they're not. Like yeah. the girl. Um, you know, she's older than me. She was older than me, and uh, ended up suing her ass and winning. Right. But you protected yourself on the back end. Right. You know, right. you knew if, you know, you, she needed your help. Mm -hmm. However, we ain't really on that page just yet to right. where I'm going to give you this money because right. you're my woman. So you protected yourself and you knew who you were. Mm -hmm. So know who you are. Yeah. And, and uh, that scenario, it, this stuff happens. It does. Oh, it's, every day. Every oh, day. I, every day. Yesterday, two dudes called oh. me with this nonsense. So know who you are. Mm -hmm. When you know who you are, no one else will be able to define you. They will not be able to tell you who you are because you already know. Point number two, know what you want. If you want a woman who is going to be doing A, B, C, and D, don't settle for a woman who is doing E, F, and J, and Z. And all. Don't, don't settle for that type of woman. Know what you want and don't waver because... Then you're going to be ended, ended up in situations like that. Well, she is fine. Damn, did you see her ass, though? Mm -hmm. And then you end up in oh, one of my stories. Oh, girl, I have, but I told her there's a difference. Separate the, mm -hmm. the, um, the emotion from the finance, from right. we screw into. Right. Uh, no, those, those things aren't really connected yet mm -hmm. because you're not my woman, woman per se. Right, exactly. All right. So third, ask questions. Plenty ask, of questions. Ask a lot of questions. You, you, you'll be surprised. You know, you can actually learn how brain surgery is done, even if you're not a doctor, by asking questions. Yes, yes you can fly an airplane if you just if ask you the just right ask questions. questions. Mm -hmm. So people don't ask questions. What is it you're trying to do? Who are you? Where are you being? All stuff. They call that really the courting process. Mm -hmm. Not only do you want to know about that person, you want to know mm -hmm. about their friends, you want to know about their family, you want to know who, where they've come from. Ask mm -hmm. questions. Fourth, move on if she's not coming correct. If she's not giving you the right answers mm -hmm. or e e just even verbally or physically, move on. It's okay. She's not the only thing smoking. Mm -hmm. She ain't the only thing with a giant old booty. She's not the only one that's cute and all this other. There's other women out there who will treat you the way you want to be treated. Stop settling for, oh, well, she's cute. But you know what, though? I can change her. She'll change. She'll learn to love you. Listen, a woman who is only into you for <laughs> your money will never learn to love you. And never believe that you can change a grown person. They have to want to change for themselves. Exactly. There's nothing you can do. So when you know who you are, none of that is a factor. Like, yeah, you cute, but you're not who I'm looking for. You're not what I want. Mm -hmm. I want somebody who is going to fit, you know, what I deem acceptable for me. And so 
I, that's all I got. I hope you guys took a lot of notes. But to me, like I said, I don't believe I'm the smartest person. I don't even really feel like I'm that smart. Mm. I just feel like that some things should just be common sense. And those two scenarios that I just gave y'all, that, that's common sense. That's common sense. Like, why does your child need to call you and put you up on that, game? That's embarrassing. And it's, it, it is. It's, uh, as a father, when your daughter is calling you, telling you that, number one, that tells you that that daughter really loves her father and he's yes. involved in her life. So that's a kudos to the, yes. the father there. And um, I'm telling you, this is what a lot of guys talk about when they see that guys, you know, uh, they don't want to pay child support. That's not true. We don't want to pay host support. Right. Or as I said, is your, ba is your uh, baby mama using your child support right. to buy dick? Right. And I know that's kind of graphic, but that happens a lot. And again, like I said, women, um, save all that. Well, men do it too. We ain't talking to the men. Mm -hmm. We talk about, you give advice to the women all the time, but I just felt it was apropos, especially since I had two men within a very short time frame Period. call me with these scenarios. And I'm like, okay, Evidently, men need to be put up on game. I don't know. Um, and, and, and game is the right word because that's the that's what some of these women are doing to men. They yeah. run in game. They're not. They listen. They're never gonna be into you. They're never gonna want to be with you the way you want them to be. Otherwise, you'll end up like some of these old dudes with a woman who was five hundred years younger than them. And obviously, she's screwing the pool boy. Mm -hmm. But she got your money, and you know that. But you don't have the balls enough to say, you know what? I'm, let me move on. Let me move on here. And so if you complain about a woman like that, that's your fault. Or you end up with a uh, Shira Wright who, uh, when she was married to the second guy in Houston, uh, no, the second guy in, in Memphis, mm -hmm. the police officer, not only, and Thaddeus said this, not only did she, she pack up the house, she took the man's dog. What kind of low, dirty scoundrel <laughs> takes a man's dog? Well, I mean, I, I just... Listen, and, and and she ended up being a black widow. I have people tell me or ask me this all the time. How are you equipped to give advice on certain things? And I had a blog, which I keep saying I'm a startup that I will write on. And I would say, you gotta get the stuff going. I never give advice or write about something I don't have any experience in. Now, I don't have any experience in being uh, a sugar baby mm -hmm. or playing dudes for money. That's nothing I've, I've never done. But I've, I've been around enough people and heard a lot of things from people to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, hell. Yeah, like I said, I told you about my experience, what was going on with me. Um, and this also goes back to the strong, and what happens to the strong independent black woman? Well, what is that exactly? Right. So a strong independent black woman is down to trickery and chicanery to get what they want. Is that all part of the game? Well, that that's the game. You know, like they say. But you're strong and independent. But like they say, you see a fool, you bump his head. And that's what a lot of women know. Mm -hmm. I, I think, well, shit, if he going to give it to me, shit, he can do anything for me. All I got to just let him know, he might be able to just smell it. And I he'll, he'll, you know, he'll come through. But like I told the guy, the first guy that met the girl at the store, I said, a lot of these women or girls out there are just so stupid. Because if you really are in dire straits, this man is willing to take care of you. Just treat him right. Stop looking at the exactly. short-term game and go for the long-term relationship. Look at the guy that was shoveling ice. Right. They don't want those dudes. Right. Look at the daughter. And, you know, a, a lot of it, unfortunately, is the fact that how much time we spend with our children and what they learn. Especially, oh, as, yeah. a, especially as a father. And look how much you love your father. Mm -hmm. Even though your mom and dad had divorced... Your father still has a lot of influence oh, in yeah. how you get treated Absolutely. by men. Absolutely. So, and I'm not listen. I'm not always saying I did the right thing, and that's part of, of what I was saying mm -hmm. too. I, I've been in relationships where I've had men use me, N not in a you know mm -hmm. recently or nothing like that. But because when you grow older, you just learn. You just learn to just. You're supposed to learn. You evolve. Right. You're supposed to learn as you grow. Right. It's a lifelong right. process. And so, and, and just taking it back to the second scenario, this is the part that's more disturbing to me, is that the, the, the baby is listening to her mama tell her girlfriends mm -hmm. that she's running game on her daddy. Ooh, girl, I got this motherfucker. Right. Yeah. But yet, then we wonder how these young girls get that way. Like, you mm -hmm. don't even have a decency. Right. That if you're going to run game on her daddy to do it so she can't Behind hear you doors. doing it. You are so out in the open with telling your friends in front of that man's daughter that I'm finna bump his head and get his money so I can go do something that has nothing to do with this household to the point to where the baby calls him and says, don't do it, daddy. Right. Um, 
it's just like drugs in the community. There's always been drugs in the community. Mm -hmm. When we were coming up, they were, it was done behind closed doors. I have a problem when I see these young parents mm -hmm. just uh, blazing and smoking right in front of the kids. And it's like right now we're having this show, right? Mm -hmm. If I had a son in here, they couldn't be in this room while we're in here. Yeah, because the content is not for them. Well, it's not the content, and then we're adults. This is right. adult room. I know. You remember that? Yeah. Get out of my mouth. Right. Exactly. Stop Stop looking in my mouth when I'm you're, talking. You're going to come through the room and out the door. And right. you can't be coming in and out, in and out. Right, B. <laughs> so, um, so it's always been in the community, and it, it is what, uh, it's like a computer. Kids are like computers. What you put into them is what you expect to get out of them. But I did tell that father, don't lose hope. Yeah. Because evidently she's learning the right thing from somebody. And I said, that should give you a glimmer of hope too, that she's going to be all right. Because there's a lot of girls who, she, they taking notes. Mama, she, what's she doing? She, mm -hmm. oh gosh, she, okay, this is how you run game on dudes. Right. And all this other stuff. Now they're not physically taking notes, but mentally they're taking notes. And this is how I'm supposed to have a relationship with men. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to run game on them, get and, over. And the sad thing is those girls that think that they're pretty, got the bow in their hair and they've been told how gorgeous they are. They got a nice shape and all this other stuff. Right. And then when they get in that situation, because they, they got caught up with the dude yep. that ain't about yep. shit. Yep. All the other dudes. That were decent dudes. You're gonna be right. like, that's okay. Exactly. I, I don't want to deal with you. I'd rather get me a Becky or a Maria or somebody like that. Right. Just trying to be done with it. I don't want to deal with you. And that's another thing too, fellows. I mean, if you see a woman and she has kids, observe her relationship. With her Listen, this is one thing I know for sure. The sex is always going to be there if it's meant to be. There's no rush. There's no rush. Right. Take, at least take enough time to observe her home life, her mm -hmm. situation. Now, check and see how she is with her kids. Is she check doing and that? see how she's living because you walk in some houses and if she ain't keeping that clean. She ain't keeping that clean, you know. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, see how she is with her, with her children. Is she acting janky and shady around the kids? Hell, you ain't no better than her kids. I mean, right. but then again, you do got some women out there. Who treat the man better than they treat the kids. Yeah, but and, that's sad and to me, a woman who was taking her ass off to go celebrate with her boyfriend mm -hmm. for his birthday and allegedly has a bill, you ain't taking care of right. your Right. And then you're gonna drop the child off with the father with the while father. you're gone. Right. Well, you Which go, is okay. Well, you but go, you know, drop uh drop down and get your eagle on, you know. And so trying to get a baller. Yeah, well, no, that's a different situation. Mm -hmm. She's gonna go out to LA and try to go get her a baller. Mm -hmm. So she run a game on all these dudes, mm -hmm. and your daughter. Who as a child this. is watching you do that? Mm -hmm. What is wrong with these when, people? When, uh, my mom, my mom is a widow, and I used to feel sorry for my mom because I never saw her date. When she married my stepdad, I was like, "Where'd this guy come from?" Well, you know, you know, but you know, but that's what I'm saying. There's a lot know, of women who's like, "My priorities have changed." Yeah, now. We, but but you know, kudos to my mom right. because she didn't parade men in and it out. It wasn't just and, like a revolving yeah, door. Dudes. She didn't do that. Yeah, you know, and you know, now that I'm older and I can see when she dropped me off at her friend Nancy's and we spent the night over there, she was, or we went drop to Aunt down Winsome. and get your eagle on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I mean, it was girls' night out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> And my mom always said, it ain't what you do, it's how you it's do it. It's how you do it, damn it. It is <laughs> you know, how so, you do it. So. You shouldn't have Uncle Ro Ro, right. Uncle this, right. and Uncle that. I mean, oh, Uncle Bobby my brother day. didn't yeah. really have a clue. You didn't have uncles? No, we didn't have any. I, you my, didn't have no uncles? My mom did not bring any dudes around the house, right. around her, when we were in her presence. That wasn't happening, you know? And uh, I just feel was. like this. Women who are asleep to that degree... But they're so in tune to another man. Mm -hmm. If I was you men, I, I, I take notes. If I was you men, I would be very concerned about having a baby mama who is so in tune to her dude that she's neglecting the house and her daughter or her and kids. And that's when you go to the courts and you, you have the courts. Because who's to say, mm -hmm. and I'm not trying to freak y'all out, so please, I'm not you trying to get do that. you get a lot that. of hate on this. I'm just trying to get, make you guys cautious. Ain't no telling... What kind of man she bring exactly. in there? What he might do to your child? It happens all the you time. Because you're so, in, you're so right. enamored with this man. And it happens all, all the, time the time in our community. Uh, molestation. It's, you know, this guy did this. Or, you ever see that movie? Uh, and we're going to start doing segments on that. Mm -hmm. This is a very good movie. for the. It's called Once We Were Warriors. Mm -mm. It came out in the 90s. It, it's in, it, it takes place in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And it's about this guy called Jake the Mock. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's a family guy. You know, because Polynesians are very family right? right. But this guy was, like, partying in his house and stuff like that. And his wife, historically, was comes from royal lineage. Mm -hmm. He came from the slave lineage. Okay. 
And so he's kind of inferior or whatever else. But anyway, they're having these parties, and he let, you know, his buddies and stuff inside the house, and they would sleep over, you know, he'd fall right. out, whatever. He got a teenage daughter in the house. The teenage daughter gets, spoiler, gets raped in, in the home, whatever the deal, and she ends up killing herself. Right. And at the end of the movie, you know, he freaks out. He's all mad about it after the fact right. when he could have done the, these things. But this it happens all the time. We've all the time. Be, we've got to be vigilant in what's going on. And at the end of the movie, he, uh, you got to go see the movie. It's called Once We Were Warriors. Yeah. So I mean, I just, I, I just uh, to me, like I said, since I'm talking to the men, you really just have to be, you got to be observant. Just like this 11-year-old baby was observant and saw that. Her father was getting taken, you know, he's getting rooked for a lack of better word. He's getting rooked. Her mama, not somebody else's mama, mm-hmm. she saw her mama getting ready to bump her daddy head because she was observant. She paid attention mm-hmm. and saw So hoism runs in her family. Yeah, but some some um, light went on in her head to say That's not right. something's not right. right here. Let me call my daddy. And she's protecting her daddy. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. you know, most girls listen to their mama if it's not too bad of a situation. <clears throat> They're not going to call their daddy, but she was like, mm-mm. Well, mm-mm. I, I'm going to have to disagree with that because if, if you're a dad, a girl's first love is her father. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, if you're a, a dad that's uh, involved in your daughter's life and you're really there for her, it's just like uh, boys are your mother's best friend. Right. You know, and it kind of reverses. You learn how to, what type of woman to date or not right, to date based right. on how your but, mama. But I'm very protective yeah. of my mom. Right. Like, girls are very protective of their dad. That's why I tell my brother he has two daughters. We'll get him up over our daddies. I I, I tell my brother all the time he's got two daughters and I say, um, as he gets older, he's going to be taken care of by his daughters. Right. You know, it's like you take care of your dad. You're making sure your dad has this, he goes that. All the time. All the time. Now, when you have sons, that ain't going to happen. You know, dad, you're on your own. Side. Right. Yeah. Checks in the mail. Yeah. Uh, I know I haven't seen you in two years, but. Yeah. Uh, dad, I understand you just had a heart attack, but I got a family of my own. Right. I get down you know, there and let right. me know how everything's whereas, going. Yeah. Whereas right. a daughter's going to be there, especially right. if he's like, but you know, if you're a father that isn't in your daughter's life, right. she's going to have a different perspective. Right. So. It's just, I, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I like to share the things that I know. Not that I've ever done those type shocking, of things. It was shocking, wasn't it? I was shocked. I'm, I was, I'm, I wasn't really shocked at the content per se. I was shocked at the, the naivety. Of the well, whole situation. A lot of good, good dudes, you know, we don't play the game. You know, well, I play the game. I, I play it well. I'll see I, you know, I don't even think you need to be able to play the game to mm-hmm. put two and two. Well, together. I recognize the game. You know. All right, you need a bill paid, but you don't know what bill it needs to be paid. Well, what, but what, you need to be paid. It need to be well, paid today. I don't mind that. The thing is, these girls that know the game. Okay, fine. You know the game. You need a bill paid. You should also know you got to fuck. You should also know that. Or how about the man you are fucking and have him pay the bill? Because if he can't pay the bill, why or you, don't want to pay him? the bill, why are you with him? Why are you with him? It's, it seems like it's more beneficial to him. Go the guy that's taking care of the, the bill. But then, maybe he was getting Bonnie and Clyde it. Mm. Get it from your baby daddy. But no, because she going to use the money to go off to catch her a new boo mm-hmm. at All-Star Weekend. You know, everybody out there and, trying to get him a baller. And, and that is exactly why our... Uh, child support system and guys are so resistant right in giving money willy-nilly because we know you're getting your hair done the thing you can ass implant whatever you're doing <laughs> you know so <laughs> you know and I, I don't understand that if, if i have to produce a receipt to prove uh my payments why when i ask it ain't like i'm going to ask every time i see you right but if i want an audit of what you're spending my money on right i should be able to see it and you should be able to say because because that would determine do you need more money or do you need less money? Right. No, I mean, I, I I totally agree. I mean, I think everybody should be forthcoming. But I mean, to me, I I How think, dare you ask for receipts? Right, I think she would have just been better off saying, "Listen, I'm going on another trip, mm-hmm. uh, and I need some money." But then that's when that that's. I mean, some people think that was crude, but. But that's when me, if I was in his situation, I'd be like, great, you need more money. What about the dude you screwing? Mm -hmm. Or the dude who's screwing you? Or if I'm a woman and I say I need more money, I'd just be doing this. (laughs) Get it? Got it. (laughs) Money does not equate to sex, y'all. Does not equate to sex, but... I, I don't know. I just but no, no. In, in that scenario, I just gave you. Let me drink my milk. Yeah, in that scenario, I just gave you. I'm not saying you have to respect me, but you would respect me the fact that I know I got to do what I got to do if I'm in that situation, correct? Or how about this? Because I don't agree with that necessarily. Okay. No, you don't have to agree with it, but I'm just saying I acknowledge that there's a pay for play. 
How about if I loan you the money or give it to you, however I'm, I'm giving it to you? If I ask you, I'm like, well, no, not you, only that, the sign the, mm -hmm. but if I ask you, well, what do you need the money for? Don't get no attitude with me. Don't worry about I get the money for. I, 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 how dare you? Well, how dare you get your ass on the stroll and get your money your own dog on way? I listen, it's my money. I get to mm -hmm. ask what you're doing with it. I'm, okay? I'm it screwing him, kind of party. not the bank. Because when you go get a loan from the bank, they're going to say, okay, that's fine. You want $100,000? What, what might you be taking this $100,000 out yes. for? None of your goddamn business. Right. I just need to. As a matter of fact, we need to know your whole background and history. But you ain't even that. asking. I'm just mm -hmm. asking, okay, I agree. What do you need it for? Mm -hmm. You know? But no, we, got your a, business. But we have a lot of black men in our, our community that have been uh, feminized where they have, they've taken on the attitude of women where they don't ask those questions. When you got a real man like myself, I'm all business. I'll give you, eh, there you go. Unless it's, if it's your woman, that's a different, different story. story. But if you just keep coming to me, oh, I need, I need, I need, I need, mm -hmm. I need, I need you to sign on the dotted mm -hmm. line. I need my money back, right? Right. So, you know, so, you know, that way it's a loan. You right. don't have to owe me anything because guess what? You borrowed it. You gave it back to me. It's all good. So, right. That's a good point. I, I hope I've been so. informational, fellas. If you have any more questions or concerns, please write us on any of the forms that you see it. Inbox me, leave a message, and I'll be more than happy to answer any inquiries, give you any advice. I will never give your name unless you want me to. Yes, yes. Uh, you're going to get a lot of hate from this uh That's segment. fine. Brown! I'm but, dangerous. Yes, yes. Uh, but I'm going to take that advice. I'm going to have a long talk with your sister. <laughs> Until she's got to start I paying. I hope it works. I hope it works. <laughs> See, you endorsing it. I mean, I'm just saying, do you, boo? Let me do yeah. my call. <laughs> like I said, I just, look, look, look. That's all woman. I'm serious. That's all woman. I just, just, just ah. It might be your last run. It might be my last run, right. Last. Yeah, exactly. But guess what? I'm leaving happy. Some he people do drugs. On top <laughs> yes. <of me. laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but, um, you, you know you're going to get a lot of blowback on this. We've been getting a lot of uh, good feedback. And we've been getting some good uh, information, people that really yeah. enjoy the show. So we're going to expand that. But I really want you guys to look at the video of the brother that was shoveling the snow. And that pretty much sums up where we're at as a black man, black woman. And ask, just ask questions. That's it. Ask yeah. questions. I mean, because I don't understand why she would not want that dude. That obviously is a good dude. Would you be mad at her if you saw, saw the video and then he wanted to punch her in the eye? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't at all. I'm not advocating by Because why would you let a guy do something that you have no intention to say, hey, man, get out of my yard, you know, whatever it is. But no, she's, she's about her. 